It's true what they say. Big things come in small packages. Brittany Pang was only 15 when she competed in Girls Fighting 2016 under the mentorship of Shingri from Big Bang. Today, the 19-year-old balances both her college life and singing career. Hi, I'm Sulin. And I'm Kesso. Let's roll. Hey, Brittany, welcome to the show. Hi, hi, everybody. My name is Brittany. Thank you so much for having me. It's so nice having you on the podcast today. Thank we you. know that you are in college now. What are you studying in college right now? Um, actually, I just graduated in August. Yeah, okay, it, wow. I'm taking the course uh, Diploma in Marketing and Advertising. I see. So why, why, are you take, why choose this course? Actually, I think it somewhat links and will benefit what I'm doing career-wise. So for studies, it is marketing and advertising products or brands. But with a slight tweak, it could be implemented on a person, like selling yourself, you know? Mm. Yes. Branding. That's all about branding these days. Love it. Speaking of your branding, we see that on your YouTube channel, your main instrument of choice is the guitar. So when did you start learning the guitar? Um... I don't particularly remember the age, but I think it was in middle school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Were you self-taught or did you go for lessons? Um, I first started with lessons and now I'm just, yeah, I just learned from YouTube videos and all. In 2016, you were part of China's doll TV All Girls Knockout Competition, Girls Fighting. How did yep. you come to be a part of this competition? Oh, so the directors from the program came over for an audition and a friend of mine found out about it and we went. Yeah. Cool. So how how did it feel being one of only three Malaysians competing? Did you feel like comfortable or like out of place competing against singers of other nationalities? Um, I mean, at the beginning, when the other two Malaysians left, it was a little tough for me because um, I would usually stick around with them when they were still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I adjusted shortly and I was comfortable. It was a competition, but we were not that competitive. It was more like a bunch of girls spending their days together, practicing, uh, working hard towards the same goal. Yeah. That's awesome to hear. And speaking of working hard, so one of your mentors for that competition was Sheng Ri from Big Bang. Um, yeah. How was that experience like? Like, did you get your mentors allocated? Did you draw lots? Did he like fall from the sky? How did he come to be your mentor? So actually, the mentors picked us, the contestants, yeah, okay. to form, form their group. Oh, mm-hmm. like the voice. Yes, something like that. Yeah. Did you? How did you feel like being picked by someone from Big Bang, like a big celebrity like that? Um, as cliche as it sounds, it was like a dream, to be honest, mm-hmm. because Big Bang was the first K-pop group I liked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, since primary school. And he was a very friendly and caring mentor. He was more like a big brother, like he would share his experiences and even joke around with us. Mm-hmm. I see. So, so what did you learn from him? Like, what's the top lesson that you remember until today? Mm, definitely his professionalism. Like during practices, rehearsals and recording sessions, he could easily point out the flaws and how it could be improved. Yep. And also his humility despite being such a huge superstar. Yeah. What do you think is the most, I mean, so far in your journey, what do you think is the most important thing uh, for you, a characteristic to have as a singer? Or maybe you want to become a full-time singer. I know that you just got out of college and probably mm-hmm. you have plans for your career. What do you think is the character that you need to have like without miss as a singer? I think character. Mm, I think having charisma is very important. Mm-hmm. For someone who uh, performs on stage, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And your music covers on YouTube and performance uh, on Astro AAC's Classics Alive 2020 were both in Chinese and English. Yeah. So which language do you prefer singing in? Like, which is your mother tongue? Um, Actually, Cantonese is my mother tongue. <gasps> oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's not Chinese or English. Yeah. Okay. But I do speak and I can speak in both languages. Uh-huh. Um, For... Preferences. I don't think I have preferences over languages. I, I, I also sometimes sing in Korean. 
So um, I think what is really important is the story or the emotion that is being conveyed. Yeah, but not the language. Yeah. So when you talk about the story and when you sing in Korean, do you sing like phonetically or do you actually like go and like see what the words mean and to understand the Korean uh, song's story? Yes, I would go and understand the story, what it's trying to say. Yeah. I think it's better for you to sing the Yeah, to express, out. right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you've picked up a bit of Korean at this point, I guess. Um, the simple ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So besides covering other mu- uh, artists' music, you also write your own songs. Where do you get your yep. inspiration? You're only 19. I'm 20 this year. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Right, I keep it's forgetting what year strange. we're in. The year has not moved. Yes, <laughs> Messed up I know. since like two years ago. I understand. <laughs> Inspiration. I think mm-hmm. from everything, everything, everywhere, just our daily lives, you know. I can write songs um, after watching a movie, you know, about the movie. When I have strong desire to travel or just from from an argument with a yeah, family member. Right. Yeah, just anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you just finished college and now you're, you know, we're in COVID and we're all half hanging halfway through the whole doing what? What's your next big plan or what's your next big goal? What's the next thing that you want to achieve? Um, I think for now, I'm still exploring because as I said, I just graduated my diploma and uh, I would like to pursue singing as a full-time career, but um, that doesn't mean I'll stop st- studying. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'll still think about that part. Very much like Hannah Montana, you want to get the best of both worlds. You know, you're still in <laughs> school, but you also want to be a professional singer. And we wish you all the best in your professional singing journey. Thank you so much. Uh, you're so young and you have so much talent and so much potential ahead of you. We cannot wait to see what you end up doing. Thank you for coming on thank the show today. You. And thank you, listener, for tuning into this episode of Recess. We will catch you in the next one. Everyone stay safe. Bye. <laughs>